So now in this video, I'm using the circuit I've been using in a bunch of recent videos. This is a 741 op amp integrated circuit. To uh, control it, I'm using this LED as a light sensor. So right now, it's going to invert the signal from the LED because we're going to focus on the inverting pin. There's also the non-inverting pin right here. So actually the signal that reaches that influences the output too because uh, they're both going to get the opposite signal. So right now we have it wired up without uh, a bright light on there for a positive output in the green LED. That's really all I'm going to say about that. Now, when I get a bright light on there, you can see that the red LED comes on and we can switch them back and forth really fast, as you can see there. So, we want to change this so that we have some delay. And all we're going to do is take a capacitor. This is a 0.47 microfarad capacitor. As you can see, the decimal point is hard to, to see there, which is why sometimes instead of a decimal point, they take the uh, unit there, in this case microfarad, and put it in place of the decimal point. So if you saw 0, mu, f, and then 47, you would know that's uh, 0 0.47 microfarad. And uh, so let's uh, get the capacitor here. And I'll, at, uh, when I took it out of the bag, it skipped a uh, slot. So I had to kind of pinch them together so that they would fit into one right next to the other. And I'm going to put it parallel to the LED if it slides in. There we go. So now, if I get the uh, flashlight out again, you can see it took a while. And uh, it's slowest right when uh, you first do it, probably if you let it sit a while before it goes from green to red. But as you can see, I can't make it flip back and forth very fast at all. So the capacitor is taking time to charge and discharge so the voltages are holding at the pin you know more than uh, without the capacitor so it adds delay and generally whenever you do some kind of timing you know with a capacitor that's uh, what it's all about for it to charge and discharge to a certain voltage before the circuit reacts 